So Autogen 0.4.8, the latest Autogen update, brings native Olama support. And this means that you can now use the new Olama chat completion client to add local LLM support instead of OpenAI and other options. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up right now. In my previous Autogen video, we set up four agents that can convert your prompts to YouTube Shorts style videos. We also set up Olama, but we used the OpenAI chat completion client, which was recommended at the time. But this required some additional parameters, which we no longer need using this new chat completion client. Basically, we're going to start by installing this new extension, so Autogen extension Olama, and then we're going to import the new Olama chat completion client. Then we're going to provide the model name. And then this Olama client, we can pass that to the agent's model client parameter so that this agent uses this model. Again, make sure to check out my previous video. I'm going to leave a link in the description, or you can click here on the top right to get a better idea of the setup. So let's go to VS Code, and I'm going to use the previous app that we've done, the one that takes your prompt and converts it to a video, just to change one of the agents so that it uses Olama using this new chat completion client. Okay, so as you know, we've used this OpenAI chat completion client to add some parameters to make this Olama client work, like this placeholder API key, um, and then we pass this model info parameter here, which we no longer need. So, so to set up this new chat completion client using Olama, we first need to install the new package. So I'm gonna do pip install minus u autogen extension Olama. Okay, so just make sure that you've also updated your Autogen packages so that everything is running on the latest version. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to say from Autogen extension and we'll do models dot Olama and then import Olama chat completion client. Okay, and then let's go back here, I'm just going to comment this. And then we're going to do Olama client equals Olama chat completion client. And then we're going to pass the model name. So in my case, I have Llama 3.2. Okay, so that's it. And this Olama client here, we can pass it to this agent. So it's using OpenAI. I'm just going to swap it with Olama client, and then we're just going to run the app. So let's do Python three main dot pi. I think the previous example was a tourism ad for a beautiful island. Yeah, that was it. So our script writer, which is tasked with converting this prompt to a caption list, you know, now it's using Olama and everything works as expected, just like it did with OpenAI. That's like super, super easy. It's just good if you're using Olama within your app to use this completion client instead of the previous one. No need for these fancy setups or anything like that. You could just use one line essentially, and then you're up and running with Olama. Uh, one more thing that I wanna show you, which is also included in this update, is the support for structured output. So if you want to return something using Olama, or one of the Olama models uh, in a JSON format, for example, you can just create a new Pydantic object and then you can pass it here uh, so that the model knows. And we're gonna do this so it's response format and then you can pass your object here. We've made one earlier and it's this one, so script output. And as you can see, this is the output that the model generated without passing this one. That's because it's already specified in the prompt. So if we go down to the system prompt, you can see that we exactly specified to the model how it should return its response. So I'm going to remove this and we're going to pass the Pydantic object here. So I'm going to say response format script output and then use this model Llama 3.2. So essentially the response from this model and any agent that's using this client, the return will be exactly like you specified it using this script output class. So in this case, we said that we're looking for the topic takeaway and a list of strings. So if we run this, Python 3 main.py, I'm just going to say test. So yeah, exactly. As you can see, you have your captions. So a list of captions and then the topic and takeaway. And 
Well, we didn't specify anything in the system prompt this time. As you can see, there's nothing. We just said that the response format should look like this. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see something else or some other tool or framework, make sure to let me know in the description. I go through each and every one of your comments. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.